Exclusive Five on Your Side investigation tonight has found a link between today's Painesville fire and a major explosion and fire in Cleveland. In addition, one of the plant's owners pled guilty to federal criminal charges related to toxic waste. On Your Side Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us live from the newsroom with more on what he's uncovered. Ron? Well, Lee, we found that the owners of the Painesville plant that caught fire once operated a plant right here in Cleveland, a plant with a history of problems. Now, this is what it looked like at the General Environmental Management Plant, known as GEM, in the flats in April 2006. Flames shot into the sky, and homes were rocked up to two miles away. Records show the plant was operated in part by Scott Foster and Eric Lofquist, the very same men who are now listed as co-owners of Magnus International, the company that owns the Painesville plant that caught fire today. In addition, we found Forster pled guilty to uh, federal criminal charges in 2009 involving hazardous waste and toxic materials. That was at the Cleveland plant. Both men later sold that plant. But environmental groups say Forster and Jim are no strangers. Well, we found that Jim had violated virtually every environmental and public safety law in one way or another. And the US EPA found they had violated the Clean Air Act, there were problems with the Clean Water Act and, of course, numerous, numerous safety problems uh, cited by the Cleveland Fire Department who found them trying to fix safety hazards with duct tape and who were called out to a major fire at the facility in 2006. And we found even more. Both Foster and Lofquist are named in this complaint that was filed in federal court. The U.S. EPA has proposed almost $2 million in fines for hazardous waste violations with another company that the two men are connected with. It is still pending. Live in the newsroom, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. Okay, Ron, thanks very much.